Shift Up's making an open world game and Hoyoverse is making another gacha? And I've just been too busy to cover it. <laughs> so I really want to talk about these because this is two companies that I really, really enjoy. So to me, this is like big news, even though like this is three weeks old right here, or actually, uh, yeah, this is about 20 days old. So three weeks. Yeah. And then the trademark stuff is about three weeks as well. So I'm three weeks behind and I feel so bad. I feel so bad for being behind all this, but let's go and talk about that. Before we get into it though, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell to be notified of when the next video comes out. And of course, don't forget to check out Gamer Subs. Use code Tystra for 10% off. That being said, let's go ahead and dive into this. So as you can see here, we have three job listings. One is a shift up partnership anime 3D animator for an open world game. And the other one of the same type, but instead it's an art designer position. And then followed up with a Goddess of Victory Nikkei content manager position. Now, what does that mean? It means one of two things. One, they're looking for people for an open world game that they're working on. And they're also looking for a Nikkei content community manager because they need another one. Or B, they're making an open world Nikkei game. And that is what the poster of the, or the, 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 the person who posted this says. Tencent LinkedIn job postings for a potential Nikkei open world game. However, I'm going to be the Debbie Downer. This does not mean that it's going to be a Nikkei open world game. However, there have been crazier things, right? There have been some things that I have seen that's just absolutely bonkers, right? I never expected Nikkei to do a collab with Neon Genesis Evangelion, which is out right now. If you haven't played Nikkei, Again, I absolutely strongly suggest that people play Nikkei. It is one of my favorite gacha games of all time, bar none. And I, I mean this with every ounce of my soul. And I don't, I don't got one, but I got plenty of others because of this ginger beer. I have plenty of other people's souls and by all those souls, I say, you know, Nikkei is one of the best gacha games out there. 100%. I will say that with my chest because God, those teasers. <laughs> no, but Goddess of Victory Nikkei has one of the best gacha stories of all time. In my personal opinion, I truly, truly think it does. It's captivating. It gets you hooked because you go in there thinking it's all about booba and booty. And it's not about the bees. It's all about the holy crap, you know. So definitely try out Goddess of Victory Nikkei if you haven't done so yet. However, I'm getting off track. The fact that we might potentially get a shift up based open world game, which we've kind of seen already with the release of Stellar Blade, which is their AAA game, well, triple S game, which sold really, really well. The first week sold a million copies, which is absolutely bonkers. So it's not that they can't do it. They absolutely 100% can. If there is another company outside of Hoyoverse and Kuro Games that could make an open world game, it is Shift Up. And if they, if take all like whatever, like take this as it is, this doesn't mean that it's going to be a Nikkei one, but if somehow they made a Nikkei open world game, I'm done. I'm, I'm becoming a Nikkei open world content creator wholeheartedly with my whole ass chest. I will be the open world Nikkei creator. I will like be the, I will be the theory crafter. I will be the freaking summon boy. I will be everything about that game. 100%. So again, do I think that this is going to be an open world Nikkei game? No. But there's implications there that shift up is not even just implications. It's right there in front of our faces. They're working on an open world game and shift up has the power to do it. I think they can make a great one. And I really hope they do. Um, speaking of new games and open world, Hoyoverse has trademarked and registered the icon for their new game, Asta Weave Haven. Now, I've heard murmurs of this game before, and uh, a lot of people have said it's kind of like a Stardew Valley game, which is funny because I was reading this article here, and in the highlighted section, Asta Weave Haven appears to be Hoyo vs. Uh, Zinbu Zinbugudi project that has been registered and trademarked in China back in February, translated roughly as Star Cloth Valley. So to me, from what I'm understanding of this and what I've heard from other people, right, is that it's going to be Hoyo versus attempt at a Stardew Valley type of game, 
aka Animal Crossing, my, like, you know, any of those types of games, right? And I don't think that's a bad idea. I think that they really should, like, dive deeper into different markets because Hoyoverse has proven to be a, you know, a solid company. Like, obviously, we know they got an open world game in Genshin Impact. They have a hack and slash with ZZZ. They have a turn based RPG with uh, Zen, or not Zen Lozo, Onkai Star Rail. Um, you know, they have Tears of Themis as well, which I haven't played that game, but it's there and uh, people like it, <laughs> you know. And they also have Hawkeye Impact Third as well, which has been their longest standing game and one of their biggest games. Um, so looking at this, it's not impossible for us to weave Haven to be good, right? It's Hoyoverse. They prove they have a proven track record of the games being genuinely good. Say what you will about Genshin's drama. Genshin's good. It has, a, it has some very bad drama happening with it, but it is good. It's playable and it like people like playing it. I still like playing it every once in a while, um, but it's not my main game anymore. However, the point of this is that the future of gacha gaming is just going to keep getting better and better in my opinion especially with companies like Kuro games making withering waves which they you know they turned out to be really really good uh and then also we have you know shift up making an open world game and now we got Hoyoverse diving into the most likely stardew valley s type people which i know one person on my friends list is going to be extremely excited to try that out aka the anime athlete but i digress i think ultimately right the future is bright for both mihoyo and shift up because if they continue on with what they're doing we have a lot of greatness coming not only that but think about it we got azure familia we got uh neverness to everness we got project mugen there's just so many different gacha games that are coming out that i have my eyes on i'm just like bro i cannot keep up <laughs> Like, I can't, I cannot, I just cannot keep up. And it's going to be difficult because I'm going to have to shelve some games. I'm going to have to shelve some games. I'm going to have to put some new games on there. I'm going to have to figure it out, right? So, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you excited for the new open world Nikkei, or if it's an open world Nikkei game, are you excited for the new open world shift up game? Or are you excited for the Stardew Valley-esque type of game, Asta Weave by Hoyoverse? I definitely want to hear y'all's opinions on these. Um, for me personally, shift up open world takes it for me and i really hope that they make it nikkei because i want to run around as modernia shooting my machine gun everywhere that's just that's just me right but let me know down below what you think like comment subscribe all that good stuff and as always we will catch you in the next video please take care and be safe